with Christina and today we're going to be working over going over some of the basic images and cutting with your Cricut Expression 2. The first thing I want to show you is how to go ahead and start adding images to your mat. I do already have a Cricut, Imag or a Cricut cartridge loaded into my machine and if I had a Cricut Imagine cartridge it would be over on this side. You can have both of them loaded at the same time. If you have a cartridge loaded into your machine, it will default to that car cartridge when you click the image icon. So the first thing I want to do is go over the home screen for you. You have your Cricut mat, your image icon, your tools icon, your load and unload button, and your cutting button. Right now the cutting but button is grayed out because I don't have any images added to my mat. So let's go ahead and get started with um, how to find images and how to search through the machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and select on the image icon. And right now it's defaulting to my cartridge because I have that loaded into the, my, my machine. And the way you know that it's defaulting to your cartridge is down here in the bottom and has an image of a little Cricut cartridge. Some of you are probably really familiar with this, what this looks like if you have a Gypsy. This is your overlay key. It has your, your function keys right here, your uh, feature keys, has your shift key and all of your images. To preview an image a little bit better than what you can see right here, you could just go ahead and tap the zoom button and select your image. And that'll make, give it um, a bigger preview for you. And you just tap the screen to make it go away. So what we're going to do first is I want to show you how to go from your Cricut cartridge to the one, the cartridges that are um, preloaded onto your machine and to an Imagine cartridge, even though I don't have the Imagine cartridge, but you'll get the idea when I show you. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and select our little cartridge down here in the corner. And as you can see, now we have three options right here. We have the cartridge, we have the machine, it looks like the machine, and then this would be the Imagine cartridge if I had one loaded. So what you would do is just tap on the ones you want to use. So right now it's loaded, um, it's using the cartridge, but you can just go ahead over here, and if you wanted to use one of these, you would just select it from the drop down menu. And you just go down, now you see that it's showing Instead of a cartridge on the bottom, it's now showing the machine because that's what it's using. So you would just go ahead and select, there's four cartridges on my machine. You just go ahead and select the, you want, the one you want to use. Or you can go back over and select that you use your cartridge that's already plugged into your machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my cartridge that's plugged into my machine. And um, I'm using the Country Life cartridge. So what I thought I would do is just go, ho go ahead and show you how to add your images to your mat. So we're going to go ahead and use this image right here. And I'll hit the zoom key so you can see which image I'm using. And it's the apple. I'm just going to tap the screen and select it. And it's going to come up here. And I like I just re kind of refer this to, my, to myself as the space bar um, or the image bar. So all of your images that you want to add, you can actually line them up all at one time. First thing I want to do is I want to change the size before I start going ahead and doing any of my other images. I'm going to go ahead and select my size and you have three options right here. This option is your edit button, this one is your delete button, and this one is your copy button. So if you wanted to add more than one copy of this one, just go ahead and select that button and it automatically transfers it for you. If you want a backspace, this little button right here that has an arrow with an X in it is your backspace button. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my image and I'm going to click that little pencil right there. And our options right now is, this is the, um, there are two different options right here. This one works with the Imagine cartridges, and if it had multiple layers, you would select this, and I believe, if I um, understand that right, it would break the images apart. But right now, we're just going to go with how it is. There's several icons right down here. Your first one is your size icon, and you can use the minus, and plus arrows to change your size. So right now I have mine set at three and a quarter. I have my um, two options right here. This is the original cut size and this is the real dial size. So I am just going to go ahead and default to the original cut. Real dial size means that it's going to be real true to size. Um, this one I'm going to keep because I want this, especially because I'm adding my layers, you want to use this icon because everything will be proportionate to whatever the main image is going to be. So since my, I'm using the double apple, anything I add to my mat for this layer will be at three and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to actually change this to maybe two and a half inches just to show you. So, okay, so I have this set at two and a half inches. The next thing we have here is your flip button, and this is the one that flips it back and forth. So 
then we have our um, the one that flips upside down and then we have the one that rotates 90 degrees okay so if you made any changes here you want to go ahead and hit your save button so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start selecting and adding all of my layers to this apple right here. So I'm going to hit the shift key, add my layer. I'm going to go to layer one and why I have my uh, shift key already selected, I'll just go ahead and use that one. I'll turn off my shift key, go to my layer two, select my image there, select my shift key, and select that image. So the next thing I could do now is I'm ready to um, see what this looks like on, on my mat. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this little icon down on the bottom that looks like a home. So that's your home key. And you'll see now all of my images are now added to my mat. So now the one thing you notice is all of these images are on one line. It's going to be kind of hard to put your paper, um, lay your cardstock out on here if you are trying to... Um, you know, cut all on one screen. So what I'm going to do is head back over to my image mat or my image overlay. So I'm just going to hit the image icon, and these buttons right here are directional buttons. So if you tap the buttons, you'll see the cursor moving, and it goes in between each of the images. So I'm going to go ahead and move that right in between my first image and my second image, and the buttons down here. We already went through the backspace button. This one right here is your space button. So whenever you tap that, you add a space in between each image. So I'm just going to do it between the first two, and we'll go back to the home key so you can see what it looks like. And you'll see as it changes, it's now made a space in between the first image and the second image, and then the second image and the third image. So now this will be a little easier for you to go ahead and lay your uh, paper on your mat. So I'm going to head back here to my image key, and I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor in between my third and my fourth one because now what I want to do is go ahead and add an actual whole return, a line return. So I put that in between those. I'm going to hit the home key and now you'll see the images move down to my second line here. So just like word processing you have your space key and your line return, you also have an undo key. And what I like best about this is if you're a gypsy owner you know you can only go back one time for this one, you can go back several times, and you can even do the redo. I really like that feature. The next icon we have is the delete all, and I'm going to go ahead and select that, and it's totally cleared my line. Okay, so what I did was I just left two images on my on my uh, mat here, so I'm going to show you now how to load and how to set up when you're ready to cut. Now, I don't have a mat to go ahead and load into my machine, but I can still show you what I'm going to do. This button right down here is your load and unload, and right now it has an arrow that's pointing into the machine. That's your load option, and once you click that, you'll see that it now changes to an arrow that points out from the machine, which is your unload. What you would do next is go ahead and select your cut icon, and from here you can change your different types of paper. You can go from a lightweight, medium weight, heavy weight, as well as vinyl, which is the kiss cut, which means that it's not going to cut completely through your vinyl and only cuts the top layer and leaves the backing on the vinyl. So as you can see, when if I change, right now it defaults to medium. If I change this to lightweight, you'll see that it's going to change these three icons right here, the numbers in the boxes. These, each of these images or each of these icons, this one's your speed icon, this is your pressure, and this is multi-cut. If you go ahead and switch now to a medium weight, you'll see that your speed changed to 5, your pressure changed to 4, and your, your um, multi-cut stays the same. This will always stay the same. You have to tap it to change it. So you can use your up and down arrows to do that, or your uh, plus and minus. Even though you have a medium weight selected, you can still go ahead and change this. And you can do the same thing for speed if you want to slow it down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to keep this, um, well, let's just go over heavy speed, heavyweight paper, it has, or heavyweight cardstock, and it has now a speed pressure of 5, but don't forget you still need to change your blade, just like on the original Cricut, you can change your blade from, um, from uh, 1 through 6. So what you would do is, once you've selected your paper, so say you were going to use a medium weight paper, you would just go ahead and select your cut icon. 
I'm not going to do anything with this right now because I don't uh, have anything loaded in my machine. So that's your basic steps to, to using images on your Cricut Expression 2. In the next episode, we'll go over more detail of some of the other features that are available on the machine. But for right now, that's your basic steps to get you started. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina, and I'll see you next time. Bye!